running away from God? Has He asked you to do something? To get rid of something from your life? Or has He convinced you to stop doing something that you might be doing that is not right in His eyes? Maybe He's asked you to stop smoking, stop drinking, overeating. Maybe it's your anger, your temperament. Or maybe He's asking you to treat your spouse better. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Before we begin the topic for today, I would like to invite you to hit the red button, subscribe if you haven't, and also hit the bell buttons. This way you are um, notified every time I upload a new video. Now that that's out of the way, let's get going. Maybe from the title of this topic, you might be a little scared, you might be a little like, you know, hesitant whether I should click on it or not, but um, since you're here, I'm glad you did and I want to share something that um, um, it's a little personal to me but it might also help you, maybe you or somebody else can relate to. Let's get into it. Stop running away from God because it could affect your family. There's a lot of people who will disagree with me on this statement that I just made but um, that's fine bring it on, leave me your comments, your disagreements, um, back it up with that, whatever you want to. Um, but I have experienced it in my life, I've seen it really in my life. Therefore, I want to share it with you guys and hopefully by the end of the, this video, you will know why. Most of us have heard the story of Jonah. Um, maybe some of you who don't go to church have not, but most of people who do, you know, depending on whatever religion you might be, um, have heard the story of Jonah, or a lot of people joke about the story of Jonah. But mostly, um, this story is taught uh, starting in, uh, start, is, t is taught to kids a lot. Uh, starting from preschool and up. But his story applies to us in every level. Jonah was a man who was swallowed by a big fish. Now many of you might think, how could that be? But I don't know. It's in the Bible, I believe it, it happened. Let's just stick, stick around and listen to the story. God's word came to him and gave, in, gave him an assignment. All he had to do is go to Nineveh and tell the people what God said to tell them. But no, Jonah got up and went the other way trying to run away from God. Does that sound familiar? He got on the ship and soon the wind started getting stronger and stronger and the people that were in the, in the ship started panicking and they started praying to their gods and, but there was no help. So they were desperate and one of them went downstairs to look for Jonah and found him sleeping. Really? You're sleeping? Don't you see what's going on outside? Get up and call on your God for help. Maybe he will save us from dying. Jonah didn't want to tell them that he was running away from God, so they threw him in the sea. And as soon as they threw him in the sea, the sea calmed down and so did the winds. Now the Lord had prepared a big fish to swallow Jonah and he stayed in the belly of the fish for three days. Three days? Well, that tells you how stubborn Jonah was. Three days and three nights in the belly of the fish. Jonah 2, 1 through 10. Now Jonah prayed to the Lord his God from the fish's belly, saying, I cried out in my distress to the Lord, and he heard me. Yes, the distress you put yourself in, Jonah. Then I said, this is what Jonah is saying, I'm quoting Jonah. I have been cast out of your presence and your sight. Really Jonah, was it you who was running away from God? Presence in the first place. But now, you're blaming God. Really? Onto the dry land. The fish spit him out because he was so stubborn. The, the belly of the fish might, and caught, might have caught a belly ache. Jonah 3, 1 through 10. I want you to stick around to the end and see how this story relates to us in, in today's present day. Again, God gave Jonah the same message to, you know, what to do, where to go, and who to talk to. And Jonah picked it up and obeyed God. And he told the people in, in Nineveh to uh, repent, otherwise this is what was going to happen. And the people repented and seek God. And God revoked his sentence and the people of Nineveh were spared. 
Are you running away from God? Has He asked you to do something? To get rid of something from your life? Or has He convinced you to stop doing something that you might be doing that is not right in His eyes? Maybe He's asked you to stop smoking, stop drinking, overeating. Maybe it's your anger, your temperament. Or maybe He's asking you to treat your spouse better. Or being there for your family. Or taking care of your health. Whatever it is, you need to stop running away and face it. Face the assignment, take the responsibility, don't put it off and stop running. Stop running away from your duty, from your call, from your responsibilities. Because it's not just going to affect you, but the people around you, your loved ones, your family, your friends. Kept, Jonah kept running away from his assignment, which put not only his life in danger, but the people around him. And the people in the ship were in danger, the people in the city which he had to go and deliver the message God had given him. A city that God wanted to vanish because of their sins. But God's mercy is bigger and He always wants to give us a second chance. A second chance to repent, to turn back to Him. And that's why He chose Jonah to deliver the message to the people of Nineveh. Maybe He has brought someone in your life that has delivered you a message. Maybe they didn't come up and say, Oh, God said this for, for, uh, f to me, to, for you, or God has this message. But maybe there's people uh, who are very positive in your life and they have been encouraging you, they have been press, pr pressing on you or pushing you to, uh, to make better decisions, better choices in your life, to take care of yourself, to, to face your responsibilities, your reality, and you're just ignoring them, you know, because sometimes we just don't like to hear it from people, you know, because when we're trying to run away from something, you know, some, some, some responsibilities in our life might seem big, and we're like, uh, I'm gonna put that off, you know, I really don't want to face it. I know smoking is bad, I know drinking is bad for your liver or your stomach or whatever, but I'm still gonna do it. I'm gonna stay away from those people that are telling or keep telling me to stop and that's that's that that only harms you. That only does you harm, you know, not anybody else. It harms your health, it harms you and your life, you know, and the people around you as well. God knows everything, He sees everything. He also knows the deepest parts of our being. He knows what's brewing inside of us. You run away from your responsibilities, you don't take care of your family, or your health, for example, you know. And then you end up getting sick and then you pass away. That's gonna affect your family, Not it's not gonna affect you, because obviously you don't care anymore about your health. You don't care, you know, about your responsibilities, your duties, you know. You're just putting them off. And who cares who it's going to affect? Yes, it will affect your kids, your spouse, people around you. Um, so, running away from your responsibilities, running away from what God calls you to do, which is, you know, it's not good. It's easy nowadays to blame God for everything because we think that He should stop suffering, deaths, diseases, evil. But we forget that we have free will and we make our own choices. And we have to face the consequences of each choice we make, whether it's a bad one or a good one. And that many times includes our families too. We choose what type of person we're gonna become. We choose our own life and even just like Jonah, he was in the deepest parts of the, the belly of the uh, big fish which represents trouble, anguish, a mess that you put yourself in your, in, in your life. So if you are in, in the, if you're feeling right now like you're in the deepest mess of your life, it's never too late to call upon God for help. He is there but you have to open your mouth and ask for his help. Just like Jonah, he humbled finally himself and called upon God and God sent him help by spitting him out of the belly of the beast. So no matter how deep in trouble you might be at this moment, call upon God and trust that he's going to send you help, you know? Don't just call on God and say, I called on him and then go call on 10 other people to help you. No, call on God, wait on him and believe that he's going to send you help. He will command that big fish, that big pit, 
that big trouble that you are into to spit you out of it to release you to deliver you to set you free into the dry land dry land represents wellness a life full of blessings get your life straight with god don't run away so you and your family can start reaping god's blessings in your lives which will affect others too not just your family because when others see god's hand in your life they will want a piece of that cake too unless they too hateful then they will just watch from far and drool so what's my point my point is my point is this stop running away from god if god has called you to do something do it whatever it is regarding your life god only wants your you to be blessed and well and to be in contact with him at all times god wants you to depend on him to trust on him for every thing that you might be going through for every need that you have um i'm saying this because every time i depend on god um getting through life is easier you know uh, rather than when you're just far away from him i don't want to hear it you know you, you just don't want to face the reality the truth and i know the truth will always hurt because we humans don't really like to hear the truth we like to just pretend like we don't hear we don't see we like to do things our own ways um, and and then when we are in the deepest pit when we're in the deepest trouble and the biggest hole of our life we're just sitting there we can't get up we can't see the sun we feel like it was suffocating we blame God the first thing that comes in our mind is like God where are you why you're not helping me I've done it many times you just st sitting there standing up there and looking down and you don't care that's not true because we as humans make our own choices you know we have a free will we choose good or bad and whichever choice we make we're going to face consequences bad or good consequences so it's it's living a well and blessed life is easy it's easier it's easier to take the good path than the bad one you know because once you take the bad one the bad path or the easy path um it's hard to come back from it but with god everything is possible just like jonah he humbled himself called upon god and god sent him help help so i encourage you to stop running away from god stop running away from your life your responsibilities your duties um things that you know you're you're, you're supposed to face you're supposed to do and not run away from you know maybe it's doing dishes or maybe it's doing laundry you've been leaving it all week there and you're like i can't face it yes you can you just have to get up in the morning and say i can i can i can do it with god's help i can do it you know you have to have that attitude you have to help yourself educate yourself you know and here you come giving you some free tips i hope you enjoyed them if you did give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't again and hit the bell button to be notified for each video that I upload. Be blessed.